Wait, which? Oh, that's right, because we're from the other side. I kind of like this patch normally on this map. Oh, so you did the second part where you have to uh, you have to go stomp on flimmin' APCs. <laughs> I saw uh, I saw on the forums some people were complaining about that mission a little because the APCs come in so quick. This could be a disaster if this guy's brought three fire starters. Especially on a map like this. Uh, my Centurions are not going to have a happy day against that. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we're just going to try and sprint for this. Uh, if he's got fire starters... I've got 30 seconds. Um, we'll take out. We'll stay out of sight of the trees, and we'll have a think about that one for a sec. Uh, we're just gonna stay together for a bit. So there's two choices against fire starters. You stay in a big giant blob so that you can just turn and punch, or you get somewhere where he's gonna have a hard time. There's no real hard time on this. <laughs> My best choice is probably the mineral fields. It might at least save me from a flamethrower or two. Although the flamethrowers, I don't actually know if. Uh, Does anyone know if mineral fields give a disadvantage to support weapons? Holy moly. Uh, is this an arc light? No, it's not. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I haven't done any customs yet. I've seen some really gross customs. I've seen... Fire starters with six flamethrowers, and then Jagamex with four sets of SRMs on them. Um, what is this guy rocking that he wants to be this aggressive? That's a paradise right there, though. Jesus, we're never getting that thing out of there either. <clears throat> um, he's gonna reserve down. He can see all of my mechs. I'm going to reserve to phase 2 and then start moving. In case he's got a assault, you can. I'm pretty sure you can buy... I mean, I'm pretty sure you can get a heavy and... Yeah, 6 evasion plus a mineral... This thing is... This thing's a ghost. Like, there's this... this. No. No, stop it. What are you doing? What the? Okay. That's kind of cool. I thought he was going to move and do something silly, but... That's kind of okay. I don't think he's in punch range. Well, this guy either plays this map a lot, or he is just... Wow. I have... I've not seen this, and I actually kind of like that. I... <laughs> uh, you are the machine gun version, right? Yeah. I could... Maybe ignore this and push this way? It's probably better to ignore this. If I can't punch it, I'm probably better ignoring it. Let's have a look. So, does that affect... It does look like it affects support weapons. Okay, cool. So, mineral fields work against flamethrowers. Excellent news. Um, I kind of have to ignore them. Like, I mean, even if I fired in everything... I would have to sensor lock him once, get him down to three, and then fire in. He's basically, he's, he's like a, 
He's a Flimmin Klingon right there. So we know there's a medium here. Whoa, 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 whoa. We gotta get moving here. Um, we need to look for things that don't expose ourselves too much. I still don't know. He could have LRM spam. This could just be the vision boat. Because that's a nice set of vision there. I do like that locust move actually. So he's basically providing vision for an impossible hit chance, right? He stepped from... He did really well too. He basically stepped from here. Ah, oh, poor guy. Uh, surely this is not his first time playing multiplayer to know to do that. Maybe. I mean, he didn't reserve. I would have prob maybe I would have reserved to see what this stuff does. Uh, we can't do too much. I don't know if he reserved. If he reserved, uh, oh shit. <laughs> uh, so let's think. If he reserves. I get to go first. I don't think he reserved though. Hmm. I could have let I could have let him reserve down, and then I could have had a double move into that into that locust. I think we just push towards this. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh my god, it was my turn. Oh my god, what the hell. Uh, so he did reserve. Oh. Um. Shit, I'm not paying enough attention. I'm talking to the poor dude. Uh, we're just definitely going to bum rush this way, I think. Uh. Is the league starting up? I think it starts up already or not. I can't remember. Oh, we'll brace in. We're going to have to... Pff, poor locust. Uh, so it's his start. He could, he could go on this. This was stupid and annoying. <laughs> uh, if he goes on this, I'm going to turn on this though. So if he fires into this, which he could with uh, a laser and ugh, I can't believe this. This is going to be the death of me. Or my locust. Please, Sumo, you need to live here. Uh, Sumo can live through 30. So he's got 40. So 25. Oh my god. We's... Yikes. Thank god for being small, right? Alright, now we're turning on this, though. Sorry guys, distraction. Nothing like talking to people. Um, 
So this is a little bit of a risk. I could, I'm probably going to reserve just in case he fires in with some shenanigans. Uh, so the logic here is he is basically, yeah, he's basically just the juggernaut. Uh, so we'll reserve him. We'll see what comes out of here first. Uh, he is sort of like a, f he's like a stop guard against fire starters. So most fire starters will come in, fair bit of evasion, and uh, drop down on you, right? If you juggernaut in, you get your juggernaut hit, which pushes them in the nation of phase. Plus the locust is packing, um, is packing two machine guns. So you get the plus one, plus negatives on the support weapons as well. So then hopefully you can push a a um, fire starter one turn, and then because you've pushed it one turn, you should be able to then push it another turn with the fire starter. Uh, with the Locust again, so you can push it into the medium, and then you can push it into the heavy, and then all your mediums can wail on that damn thing. It's it's a slight stop guard, it's not the best. Um, Alright, I think we can back into this and clear this guy. It, it's not the best, but it is there. It's cheap, most people don't attack it. I mean, you see a Locust, right? You're not really gonna... You're not really going to go for this. Till suddenly it starts getting on top of all your mechs. And just rubbishing you. Alright, so he's got three lights. And a medium. Three lights and a medium. What would you have? Although that fired a PPC. I don't know. This could be an Apex Vindy or something. But Juggernaut is definitely a good skill in uh, multiplayer. It might not be great in single player, but it is pretty godly. I saw someone make a joke about it the other day, actually. Sumo is the man who can uh, bend time with his punches. He is a kung fu master, old Sumo. So now... Treb. It's a trebuchet. Alright, we'll finish this off, get rid of the vision game back here. I don't like having things up my butt. Um, what's the most effective way to do this? We're going to get two turns of firing on this guy. I want to make sure... He's gone with everything. If I kill this now, he has to come in with this. This guy gets to go before this. Before these, maybe... These guys just have to back a little. This thing's definitely should die. Para it's a. I've seen locusts be blessed though by the, the gods of. The gods of evasion. Unfortunately, I'm turtling a little. But centurions aren't rockets. On wheels, is there a decent bit of? A move here. This is <sighs> this is why I don't like it. Let's think. Could I clear it with two lights? I'm not convinced I can clear this with two lights. I punch it again. You fire in again. I think I need to add a little bit more. We're gonna risk some crazy back shots here. I could go full craziness. He's still got to push into me to get vision here. We're going to jam probably everything. Just to ensure this thing just bites the dust. i got to be real careful on my turns as well. So I could leave wildfire to tank from the front and then three in from here. Hmm, I still just want it dead. I absolutely just want it dead, I think. That treb might wreck us here. 
We'll get most of our stability back. PPCs plus the trab are gonna hurt. We're gonna jam once again everything. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Alright, so we should... He will get his turn first with one of these guys. They're gonna probably jam some... I would come forward with this. He's gonna have to try hard, yeah. So now at least the Locust. I'll do the Locust from the front. Ooh. Actually, the Locust engage on the side already. It's about a 9% chance to hit from the side, I think. But we do 15. Panther coming in. Panther runs really hot on this map, actually, if he jumps it. He could clear this guy if he fires. I need to get a go on this. We've got no evasion here. We've got one evasion here. This is maybe a reasonable choice. Okay, he's going to... Go on that. That's okay too, because the treb plus this is probably going to knock this over. Wildfire is okay on hit points. So I think we just butt you again. I could actually just... Do I get any evasion from somewhere? I get one evasion. I don't want to shoot you in. Actually, I could shoot you in that side. That's fine. And make sure he's got no vision. He's got no vision. Can you get out of here a little? Alright, he doesn't. We should hit with one, at least. It gives us two evasion. It's better than punching. We've got a reasonable chance for one little measly round to hit here. So that baby's off the map. Now we got to deal with this man here. I'll probably look for a sensor lock from here. Is that two panthers? Actually, the way this is going to have to go is uh, I need to go with this mech first. He can't actually knock. Actually, he can't knock this, so we can go with this next. He's most likely to continue on this though. And I really, really don't appreciate... Ah, oh, he's going to get his turn first anyway. Well, he can't knock it. So we're going to reserve down. Sensor lock. Fire. Fire. Actually, eh. Who does more damage? You do more damage, right? You're going to lose this. So you're going to lose your LRM-10s. To a truckload of spray here. Come on, baby. There you go. Alright, so we're going to probably... Rotate you front-wise. We might move you... Mm, I could just be a dick. Maybe we'll just be a dick. So we're sense lock here. We'll remove two evasion. Fire with this guy. Move this guy forward. Uh, we're going to front tank. Just to maybe spread... I want to keep my LRM-10 for a little... <laughs> So you actually do more damage here now, yeah. So it has to be Ozone here, just to shred some evasion. Uh, is there a move into some... No, nah, there's trees. Okay, I'll take that. So we get rid of the last of the evasion with this guy. Our stability should come back on... Come on, wildfire here. Uh, front tank, we should have... Yeah, there we go. That's a lot nicer. We get all our stability back. This is this is a horrible situation for him now. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring Sumo forward. We'll probably leave Sumo back here for a little. Wait for these to move. At this point, 
I would probably look to start bringing in my Treb. He's still out of sensor range, which means he's way deep with it. Is he going to go for a punch? Okay, no punch. No one punch. Sumo's a one. Uh, so Sumo has to move. He gets to go... Yeah, all right. So no matter what he does, he gets to go first with one of these. All right, well, that's a punch. That's an easy move. Uh, we're definitely going to reserve, though. I could think about wailing on it with one of these if they could reach. Since Commando really doesn't want to park himself. The poor thing for the new players is, I think if you don't learn the reserve game though, it's a little bit rough. Because you're basically always having your turn into really shitty situations. That's going to run you hot if you fire both weapons. Oh, okay. Down for that. Uh, so let's have a look. Can't quite make it. Sumo's going to want to get in on this. I could... F you punch. Sumo fires. And then you two fire. Probably works out. Didn't really want to punch with this guy. Because he needs his evasion. Takes you down to one. Support weapons don't care. Uh, when did that happen? Was that last turn I hit like that? I'm going to just shoot in the front then. Actually, that was a mistake. Uh, he's just going to spam the hell out of that poor commando. Oh, commando survived. Commando might not survive next turn, though. Alright, let's get you. If I shoot him from the front, we've probably got a decent chance of killing this guy. Uh, which then leaves us with this dude and you firing from a mineral field. I forget what the chances are here. Uh, we're doing a little bit less damage thanks to the trees. But I think it's about 20% from the front, maybe, for the CT. So that wrecks that man's life. Uh, do I want to move on you? I don't particularly, do I? I want to do anything here. Probably just want to fire in pretty much nothing. So give us a few turns minus the LRM. Yeah, that's all right. I don't want to fire the AC. Uh, I would like to get that back. I could have maybe have gone with Mockingbird. I might just roll up on this a little. We've got full armor on Mockingbird, so... At best, he jumps. Does something. Uh, he can still fire with this guy. He's going to struggle a little, though. As much as... Uh, <laughs> as much as I'm struggling with damn single M lasers... He's going to get to go with this anyway. I could have just braced. Bracing would have been the better choice. Uh, because he gets to go with this, and then he gets to go with this into whatever over here. He might go on this.
I mean, it, it, there's some basics to it, right? The basics are... Is... Don't be hugely aggressive, for starters. Reserve correctly. Uh, what are we looking for here? I'd say we're looking for a punch on this man. He might attempt to... We could be really mean. Would the commando survive this? Is the real question. The commando might not survive if I reserved. We're probably looking for a move and a rotation. Uh, a better rotation than that. So we're looking for something like this, I'd say. Can I actually... Uh, he punched us, so we're actually wedged in here. So we have to go like this. He could just rummage the sky. Uh, I've got dead fire. Um, uh, I am trying to play it, but obviously a fair bit of my time gets sucked up by this. Uh, we're going to reserve in. The locust should be okay. I've only just started, um, playing dead fire though. Like, I'm not very far in. I won't say anything in case people haven't played it. I did, I thought, yeah, sure, I'll pick some hard options. You know, what, what can go wrong? Yeah. A lot's gone wrong. <laughs> I picked uh, I picked something like the hardest encounters, and I picked something like uh, all the wrong options in Dead Fight in Poe One, and everybody hates me. Everybody's got something out for me. Um, <laughs> nobody likes me. Everybody's cursing me. I don't know <laughs> what I did to them all, but they really don't like me. And yeah, it's gone horribly wrong. We're going to punch this guy. I'd like to punch him. Is that still trees? That's so hard to tell. I don't think that is trees. I'd like to stay in the trees at least. Actually, it's probably not going to matter. Nah, let's just punch him through the trees just in case. But yeah, it was, it was a bit of a mistake. I might have to check out the Kingmaker one though. I haven't seen that one. Uh, and let's just rummage this guy, I think. We're just going to climb on in. There's not too scariness. We might... Uh, actually, we're going to stick where we are. There's no point in climbing in. In fact, we're going to face forward. And obliterate this guy. We could just jam everything. We'll probably save the heat, just in case I don't do so well here. Oh, that's a bit of a waste. I always feel badly about uh, hitting things in the head when you really don't need to. So we get to go before this guy. We shunt him another turn. We get to fire in everything. It is all over Red Rover here. Uh, and no, he's not going to get knocked. I could have fired in the LRMs and we could have maybe have knocked him here. So punch him again with Sumo. Sumo's probably going to die to this guy. Unless I could punch this guy. Uh, which only leaves us with the Commando firing in though. Ozone could bulwark. He has lost a lot of his shit though. Or I could just clear this Panther. I think we're just going to clear the Panther. We're going to just give up on Sumo. If he survives, he survives. If not, he's done an amazing job. I didn't believe in Sumo in a Locust to start with. But I mean, you only really need Sumo to be a pest for, you know, a turn or two. And he's done a lot of work. Did I not do that correctly? I did. So, I mean, you can see what he's done here. Like, Sumo has basically pushed his poor Panther into the heavy phase, right? I mean, that sucks for a light to be going in the heavy phase. It's, it's kind of it's kind of the same idea as a fire starter. Oh my god. 
Leave him alone. He doesn't deserve this, poor Ozone. It's kind of the, the same idea, but just half the price. A little bit less armor, and you can't jump jet. Alright, let's just wreck you. Uh, we need to keep facing towards this guy, probably. I could start moving. What do we got? This side's about to fall, so I think we'll start moving here towards this. Just gonna unbrace ourselves. I would have probably have. Oh, he's running dirt hot. Now. I'm okay with all this heat. Oh, and a knockdown. Yikes. Plus, he runs as a, a debrace thing as well, so. Because you generally need something to debrace a lot in this meta as well. People love to... I mean, you, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just rolling up with my braces here. And What do we need to finish you? I should have looked. So we need 101. Which is not... Probably not possible. We're going to have to fire some LRMs here. These trees are going to do some work for him. I could go for the head. Is this where I go for the head? <laughs> Alright, let's do it. I've never killed anyone with headshots. <sighs> uh, who's in this, actually? I haven't been keeping tabs. Uh, you've got knocked once. You've been hit in the head. You've lost the torso. Shit, I should have just gone for the torso here. <laughs> does that do vision? It does. Alright, we're going to move back here. I need one hit here, and I'm pretty sure you are dead. So, 28% on six hits. Pilot in cap. Thank you. Uh, so it's asked that I could punch this guy. He's not going to get a turn in his own turn. Let's roll. He could punch. I mean, he's going to want to punch us, right? But that'll do some work. The other thing about this locust is the machine guns obviously have crazy ass chances for head hits. So you can sometimes do... I could be a complete dick. Uh, you know what? I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I'm not going to be that mean. I mean, unless some crazy ass head hits come out here, we'll feed the commando in. <laughs> the option would have been to just run the commando out. I could have just sprinted across the map, right? He would have never seen it again. He would definitely punch this, though. This is... What is this, Kraken? He's probably got like a 80% chance for that. Uh, front facing would be great. I actually should have gone this way for this arm, but it'll do. We need to start turning off some of these, because we're going to start cooking. Just firing this for the stab damage. I could just overheat. There's no real disastrous things that are going to happen if I do. I'll turn off that. Let's get it, son. Oh. Okay, well, now we're going on this side, then. So that's where all the hits want to go. He might roll in and punch this. That could be the option, too. You're probably guaranteed, if you hit, you're guaranteed the kill. Uh, unless you hit the leg, transfer up. <laughs> Actually... It would transfer up.
I would take the punch. I would definitely go for the punch here. No, no, no. Did you just... I'll let him have it. I mean, it's exactly the same board state. We'll let him have it. I could have just kicked him with Flimmin. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh gee. <laughs> Alright, we're going to finish it now. <laughs> uh, we're coming for the kick on this side. RNG just killed the poor guy. Hose him down. I wonder what the hit chance was. It would probably wouldn't have been that bad. What is in this Kraken? I can't remember what Kraken has. Uh, we will definitely get out of these trees and we're just going to blast them in the side here. Because uh, we've got chances for this leg. We've got chances for that torso. In fact, I should have precision struck. In fact, we're just going to rip everything off. <laughs> Be gone. Uh, do we do enough damage? Maybe. Am I going to kill him with the commando? Let's kill him with the commando. Uh, at least I saved heat here. We did fire the AC. Uh, let's just make sure this isn't too much. It should be okay. Or we could shoot him in the other leg, apparently. Uh, it's still short of the commander killing him. Uh, hmm. Commander does... His actual punches probably do more damage these days. Because you're bound to probably miss. Holy moly. You're bound to probably miss with one of those SRMs. So I'd say we'll take the... Let's just beat it down. Beat you down, son. 15. Plus two machine guns. Another 30. Getting close. Uh, I can't quite do it with you. I'm going to have to reserve here. Ah, screw reserving. Does everything have to hit here? No, we're impossible, aren't we? No, we're not. Not quite. Okay, this is the best you can get. Nice. Killed by the commando. Mission successful. All right, well, he started out well. I thought the the locust... I actually really like that locust move. He pr he probably killed himself not reserving and throwing... I clearly was baiting with my locust, right? Clearly bait. <laughs> I actually... I would have moved my locust. He probably wouldn't have moved and shot it in the back. But he definitely... Moving towards this... Locust that was just sitting there probably killed his locust. Gives him no vision. As soon as you lose your vision providing locust like that, it all goes to hell, right? Because suddenly you have to jump these people in, and these people don't want to be up front. Like, the two panthers, they really don't want to be in there. And the treb doesn't want to be in there. Also, map choice. I probably wouldn't bring panthers on Death Valley. 
I don't know what it is, but PPCs are god awful at the moment. Like that heat, 40 heat on firing this, jumping it, moving it. It's just too much. Hopefully they sort that out sooner rather than later. I've probably harped on it about three or four times, but uh, it needs less heat, I reckon. Because these things just cook super fast. It's kind of a nice lance, though. Yeah, definitely. I, th I think you had the right idea at the start. I mean, that thing was... I could have wasted my time. Like, if, if I thought... If I thought about targeting it, it would have been such a waste of time. Six evasion plus another four from minerals. My god, I would have just been... It would have just been an ammo dump, right? He should have definitely have gone back the way he came. He should have reserved, for starters, because then he could have fired the Panthers with vision. Or if I moved out of vision, he could have moved the locust to the next mineral field. Cause it was doing it was doing some serious serious evasion there. I reckon it would have been pretty good. Definitely can't lose it that early though. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.